welcome. I am Dr. Lakshmi and you are watching the Health Talk session by Yashoda Hospitals. about 5 to 10 percent of all cancers are due to genetic defects. Genetic testing determines one's risk of developing various conditions based on their DNA. Unfortunately, most of the cancers are detected at a later stage making it more challenging to treat. So what is genetic testing and how is it done in India? So let's discuss about genetic testing in cancer in our today's episode. So let's welcome Dr. G. Vamsi Krishna Reddy, Director of Oncology from Yashoda Hospitals, Malakpet. Welcome to the program, Doctor. Hello, I am Dr. Vamsi Krishna Reddy. I am Director of Oncology Services at uh, Yashoda Hospital, Malakpet. So, Doctor, according to a recent survey, about 5 to 10 percent of cancers occur due to genetic inheritance. What do you have to say about this? As we know that, uh, like chronic diseases, uh, diabetes, hypertension, which are known to run in families. Uh, cancer is also known to run in families. So cancer at times can be hereditary, but the number of people who may have the hereditary cancer is approximately 5 to 10 percent of the total uh, number of uh, cancer patients we see. So yes, cancer can be hereditary, and but the risk is not uh, uh, more than 5 to 10 percent of the total cancer patients. So we all know that most of the diseases like diabetes, hypertension and even heart diseases, they run in the family. So do you think cancer can also run in the family, doctor? Cancer can also be hereditary like diabetes and hypertension. As we know that we are made up of around 22,000 genes of which 100 odd genes are known to be as cancer genes or oncogenes. If there is any mutation in these genes, uh, they predispose to uh, develop cancer. So uh, cancer is also hereditary and we need to identify uh, those patients who have this hereditary genes uh, so that we can predict the risk in the family, their immediate family members and also see if we can add some targeted uh, therapy which can probably uh, change the mutation or uh, alter the behavior of the uh, oncogene. So doctor, how do you suspect that a cancer could be running in the family? For hereditary cancer syndromes to be suspected in any family, like few of them come to us. So if there is any patient who is affected with cancer in their family, we see patients coming to us and asking, sir, are we at risk of developing cancer? So we need to have a genetic counsellor, uh, which is available with us in our ratio the hospital, uh, the genetic counselling services, where we do refer to them for uh, genetic counseling and uh, see if they are at high risk uh, families where uh, the hereditary cancer syndromes need to be suspected. But uh, those patients who have any first degree relative with uh, young breast cancer, like less than 45 years, so someone is diagnosed with uh, breast cancer or prostate cancer diagnosed in men less than 50 years. If we have someone in the family uh, who have two cancers like bilateral breast cancer or bilateral kidney cancer, or a young colon cancer or that two or more family members affected uh, with cancer these are the families which need to be very careful and uh, they need to consult a doctor and see if they are at high risk for uh, cancer and they need to be probably given genetic counseling services and uh, probably test for the hereditary cancer syndromes so doctor when a person knows that a cancer is running in their family and they did not develop any signs or symptoms as such when do you think they should consult an oncologist for uh, prevention which is very important in cancer because uh, as we know that no one likes to have cancer everyone is uh, dreaded to hear about the diagnosis of cancer so uh, prevention is a very important form uh, in the management of cancer so for those families where we are suspecting the genetic family risk uh, the patients who are normal and healthy those are the patients who should probably seek the services of genetic counseling and when they have to approach as i said any high risk uh, family like those fa patients who have young family cancer history so any first degree relative like either parents 
or siblings or children being affected with uh, cancer at a young age these are the families probably which need to be very careful and again as i said those patients who have two or more family members on one side like say it's maternal side we have two uh, family members or paternal side two family members or two siblings or whichever like the combination these are the patients who should probably suspect that they may be having uh, a genetic risk and they need to go for genetic counseling and uh, we usually uh, take the pedigree chart we see like how many patients are affected in their family uh, with cancer and at what age and we see whether they need to be pushed for genetic counseling and also the genetic testing so doctor how can genetic testing make a difference in the field of preventive health care once we identify a high risk family say like uh, there are uh, two patients in a family who had probably breast and ovary cancer or one lady had breast cancer in both uh, bilateral side these patients what we suspect is probably they may be having the braca syndrome brca gene is what needs to be tested but most of the times it's not so clear cut and easy so we need to probably test uh, more genes which may be affected so uh, with the growing technology and uh, affordability of uh, this ngs testing in the recent past with the test which we recommend is the ngs which is next generation sequencing where we test for these oncogenes in the family so how do we test it so we usually take either the blood sample or take a saliva swab and we send the same material for the genetic testing which probably where we run this material uh, on the ngs platform and we check for this oncogenes if any of these high risk oncogenes is mutated or detected in them i can probably they will be called back with the positive result and we need to identify what needs to be done with this test report so this is something called as post test genetic counseling so for each genetic test we have both pre and post test genetic counseling because we need to under make the patient's family and the uh, person who has come to because most of the times uh, when we are testing for this genetic susceptibility they are normal individuals they are not patients so we need to check and uh, make them understand uh, what we are testing and what are the implications of it and what are we going to do with the result if it's a positive or negative so pre test counseling a genetic testing and then the post test counseling so this is the uh, protocol which we usually uh, follow for those families who have this high risk family screening uh, susceptibility which are going to test so do you think that these tests can identify a person for developing cancer at an early stage and therefore can it be prevented probably not at early stage so what is our goal is to diagnose cancer before it is so i think if someone has the braca gene so they will be pushed for the high risk screening protocol so usually we do the screening for uh, uh, breast cancer with mammograms every yearly so for this high risk families the screening starts probably with shorter intervals so we do it every 6 months so probably we will try to identify uh, cancer at early stage as i said or most of the times we try to prevent it by offering them surgeries like prophylactic mastectomy we don't want cancer to happen at all so uh, most of the times it's to prevent cancer it helps us because if there is someone who is identified with a colon cancer syndrome the, we usually suggest a colonoscopy which is a screening test and by this test if you are identifying polyps we offer them uh, surgery colectomy where we remove the whole colon so they uh, need not go through the pain of uh, uh, the post treatment uh, uh, protocols like the chemotherapy or whatsoever so it's just cured with surgery alone so doctor talking about preventive measures how do you think one can prevent cancer especially when you know that the gene is running in the family so if any family is identified where they are known to have this high risk genes uh, they will be offered the genetic counseling and we design a schedule for them like when they need to go for the specific tests for screening whether it's like uh, for a breast cancer we suggest when they need to go for the mammogram or the mri or the ultrasound and for those with the uh, ovarian cancer syndrome when they need to go for the ultrasound for the colon cancer we suggest when to go for the colonoscopy so the we give them a uh, schedule when they need to visit the doctor and plan their uh, tests appropriately and uh, by suggesting this test and once they get this test done we probably uh, try to identify any suspicious lesion before it develops into cancer or much earlier than that so uh, these families need to be more cautious uh, than the normal population and they are deemed to be at high risk of uh, developing cancer when they have this specific oncogene which is mutated or the hereditary cancer syndrome is what we call 
So before ending this episode, doctor, what message you would like to give to our audience out there as far as genetic cancer and its prevention is concerned? So uh, as I said, preventing cancer is very important than identifying cancer and treating. So all of us know that no one loves to be diagnosed with cancer. It's still a dreaded disease and uh, most of us want to uh, know how to prevent it. So uh, we know that 30 to 50 percent of the cancers can be prevented. We have various preventive measures like uh, avoiding smoking or tobacco products altogether, having a good healthy balanced diet, avoiding red meat and uh, processed foods, uh, going for vaccinations like uh, hepatitis B, HPV and going for regular screenings like the breast screening, the cervical cancer screening program or the colon screening and the most important thing which we are discussing today is the genetic counseling and the genetic testing. So if anyone has a history of cancer in the family, please discuss it openly with your family members and also your doctor where they may identify whether your family is at high risk of developing uh, cancer. So we may offer you genetic counseling services and probably also the genetic testing. So genetic testing is not that expensive. It cost, cost like around 50 to 20,000 for the NGS test and the test results are usually within a month or so and probably with the report uh, we can assure you whether you are in the high risk or the normal risk and probably we can uh, suggest further protocols for follow-up for the family. So thank you doctor. It was wonderful having you here on our program today. Uh, thank you. So this brings us to the end of this episode. Hope this episode was informative on the topic genetic cancer and its preventive methods. And do join us for the next week as well. Until then, take care and stay healthy. Thank you.